plumbing in Japan. So this is going to be cool. We've got Reddit, Facebook, YouTube. We've got some cool stuff in here. So let's get going on the first one. So the first one actually comes from Reddit, posted by jscam32. So let's check this out and see what we got. Okay, so this one says, I was in Japan and took a peek at the hotel's plumbing. Fittings I've never seen before. Anyone know what they are? Well, it looks like Japan's version of a shark bite fitting. Japex, you gotta love that. Nice fastening. They are kind of permanent shark bite O-ring push on fitting. It's exactly what I thought. When you look at this, now this looks like a nicer version and I don't know, but this may be something worth checking out. Next one is a YouTube video. Now that is a leak. Okay, now that's kind of, oh, and there's somebody down in there. Oh, now that's pretty funny. Well, the good thing is it got the water shut off. I can't tell from this video if this is actually what he's doing, but I've seen this done before here in the United States, working on big carbon steel pipe. We've actually, when there's been a leak, hammered a piece of wood into a splinter to plug it up until it can be fixed. And that's kind of looked like some, what he's doing there. Never seen this done on a water main, but man, it could definitely stop your problem temporarily. Back to YouTube for another one, the wonders of Japanese plumbing. This is how a Japanese bathroom works. You just slide door. And we have a bidet. Okay, now I love anything with a remote control. Come on, think about it, guys. You've got a remote control for your bidet toilet. You've got warm water to clean. You've got a heated seat. That is a sink. Now this is kind of neat. You got a sink built in a wall, but look, you've also got a toilet that uses the incoming water to fill up the tank that you also rinse off your hands on the toilet because when you flush, here you go. To save water, down for small, up for big. High efficiency flush. Up and down is what it is, but look what happens when he flushes. I'm going to flush now. Now this is great because that's just the fill water for your toilet. Even if we wash our hands, we pretty much turn on the cold water or even the hot. We're done before it ever gets warm. So to me, I think this is really a smart idea. This is a cool way to use water, multiple sources, because once you rinse off your hands, that water goes straight into the tank. That's what you use to flush the toilet next time with. So now we got a Facebook post, Japan Plumbing. I like that they have the toilet sign in English. Man, I don't know if this is a public bathroom. I do like the way the seat covers just kind of come out and protect you in case you need to sit down, I'm assuming. Okay, now that's pretty wild. Now I can definitely say I have not seen that before. So kind of interesting. Next we've got YouTube video, Japan cast iron urinals, ward off vandals, brandishing crowbars. So, if they're here to tear up the toilet, looks like it may have been a problem this time. Hi. Yeah, that's porcelain. Okay, so this is the new plastic polyurinal that they're building. That's actually a pretty cool looking product. That could be popular here in the United States too, not just Japan. Okay, here's one just for me. Cowboy plumbers in Japan. Let's see what's happening. Here's a house. And here's a door. Well, they speak English. Here's a window and there is a floor. And coming, and coming out of the door is, a, is the waste pipe from the washing machine. So you've got your washing machine drain running out of the door. Literally a hole drilled in the door going straight down into a septic tank or something. And that's what I call a, a very good cowboy plumbing job. That's probably why people do it themselves because plumbers are a bit expensive, yeah. So plumbers are very expensive in Japan. That's why a lot of people do things themselves. Quick, easy way to tie it together. YouTube videos, squatting square toilet. I've seen these from around the world. Now this is interesting though. You see that toilet? Now this one actually has a tank and flush assembly above it. This is kind of interesting. And this is this way in a lot of countries. You literally, you just go squat, you take your, you just go squat, you take care of your business right there in the hole in the floor, flush it. Now I didn't see any toilet paper hanging or anything like that or any bidet attachment. So. Maybe not quite all the comforts of home, but pretty daggum close. YouTube video, a novelty plunger created over in Japan. And we were just throwing stuff in the toilet. We do that often here. It's a test, see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it was stopped up already. Now he's gonna wipe the seat. I love it. Oh, I know what we're doing here. Uh-huh, this is a little bit different. Okay, so you're 
This is just like five minute hacks did on their cellophane. Hopefully this is a little bit more solid than the cellophane. When we pushed, we had problems with it coming loose. Now I gotta tell you, for a plunger, that's a pretty smart idea. Here's the only bad thing about it. Now that water's going down, but as a plunger, once you push and get that pressure, it needs to suck and get air so it can drain faster. That thing's a good idea. That's actually a smart invention. I wish I'd have thought about that. Okay, now this next one is pretty cool. Just because I've seen them before and I know by the title what it is, transparent to privacy bathroom. They put a lot of bathrooms out on the street to where you have access to them there. Did you notice the way the wall completely changed? Literally, there's a button there so it changes it from transparent to solid to where nobody can see in. This is actually a pretty neat deal. Now my thing is, why don't we have those here in the United States? We could put those on the city streets and downtown. People have access to it, go in, use it. Man, great idea. Next, we got the best washrooms in Tokyo, Japan. This is by Jerry Keith, 1956 on YouTube. Okay, here we are in Japan and a standard bathroom and it's kind of, I'm showing you this because it's got a nice bidoy. A nice bidoy. It's got an nice bidet. If I push this now, I don't think it's going to spray because you got to be sitting down. Yes, you do. You got to be sitting on the seats in order to get those to work that we don't have water hit the ceiling. So your typical bathrooms over there, guys, have the bidet toilet seats. They have the lavatories built into the wall. Oh, this one here is built on the wall, which same way we do it here. But I do like the one that we saw earlier where it was installed in the wall. I guess that's a sink. No, no, that's the sink. Well, you've got multiple sinks. I think. Who knows? Okay, now that's got a flush valve on it. That, I think he's right. That's not a sink over there, that last one he was showing right next to the toilet. I believe that's a urinal. In Tokyo. Next one, YouTube video, plumbing pipes in Japan. Okay, now I saw this one the other day. This one's actually pretty interesting. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Hi, I'm Michelle. She's talking and showing you about how hard it can be to screw pipe together. So let's jump ahead here to where these two guys here are building something. The guy on the left is trying a new way that literally puts in a piece of pipe. It creates a bell in the pipe so that this nut can't slide past it. That slides into a nut that it tightens down on and literally it like twist locks and then plugs in so you have an adapter to do it. This one was actually very interesting. I, I enjoyed watching that whole video to be honest. Next one is another YouTube video, Japan High Tech Toilet. It's a city that inspired the movie Blade Runner. And while Tokyo is often on the cutting edge, sometimes it goes a bit over the top. In this month's first class, I discovered everything from a martini with a diamond in it to a, a melon costing $2,000 but wait till you see this. So now we're talking high-tech toilets. Yeah, I love these toilets that recognize it when you walk up. These toilets have more buttons than you could possibly know what to do with. The toilet seemingly greets you, will wash you off, dry you, even flush itself for you. So it washes, it dries, and it flushes itself. And the lid comes up and goes down all on its own. An app on your phone will put your mind at ease. And then there's your bathroom. And I love that you have a remote on your phone to control your toilet. I want to show you the Rolls Royce in the class. This is the top of the line range because it's only going to cost you about $50,000. 50 grand for this toilet. And for 50 grand, well, it also plays you a song. So this one for 50 grand also has a stereo system that will play you a song. Okay, so this is the last one. This is the septic system. An aerobic septic system is different than the normal, but here's the deal. They still get clogged up. Okay, so that's the septic system with raw sewage, guys. He's explaining the aerobic septic system and how it aerates and does different things. This looks like this is a septic system for a, a large building or something. Got quite a bit of water flow there. But guys, look, we, we use aerobic septic systems here in the United States. And septic systems are a big deal, especially once you get out into suburbs, out into smaller towns and stuff like this. Now, Japan, United States, look, plumbing does three things. It goes downhill, it smells bad, and 
you always want it to work and it does fail often. Doesn't matter if you're in Japan or the United States, as plumbers, we all end up working on all these systems. If you've ever been to another country and you saw plumbing that you thought was crazy and you've got pictures or videos of it, do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. And about this video, what do you think was the craziest thing you saw? The toilet that has the water valve on above where you can wash your hands or the $50,000 toilet that will wash you, dry you, open and close and play your favorite song. Anyway, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.